Hello guys, welcome back to my NASDAQ channel. Today we are going to discuss how to find out the website's IP address even if it is behind some kind of a content delivery network, CDN. CDN such as Cloudflare can provide content to end users faster, safer, and more reliable. It saves bandwidth, reduces load time, and improves the security. At the same time, it will add redundancy for your website. One of those fancy features CDN providing is to hide your server's real IP behind their network. Whenever you're using PIN and lookup, dig those kind of tools, you will only find out CDN's IP address for your service. This makes it possible for content owners to remain anonymous and hide their original IP address or their web server from attacks. But in this video, I'm going to show you some other ways to do find out the public IP address or those anonymous network hided IP. If you find it helpful, please leave your comment and give me a thumb up. mechanism to locate the true IP or hosting provider of a website behind the CDN or a reverse proxy network like Cloudflare is looking for clues from the past or current misconfiguration of this server. By using some historical DNS databases, you can find out not only the current IP where the site is hosting before switching to the Cloudflare we also can uncover all of the previous hosting provider's IP. Let me use my website www.51sec.org to start a test. I found that there are three popular websites very useful to do this kind of search using their historical DNS databases. Let's quickly go through them one by one. The first one is census. census.io um, From their web page you can see a big search box here. Um, what you need to do is just type your domain. Then they're gonna search data and return all records uh, they found it from their database. Um, census using uh, internet scanner data to give the organization the visibility they need to defend against the attackers and improve their overall security hygiene. The foundation technology behind the census was designed by the researchers from University of Michigan and the listing also created the ZMAP scanner which helped to popularize the internet-wide scanning. Um, I'm gonna start with some um, command line to show what's the difference information we can find out of by normal uh, uh, NS lookup uh, and pin. So through NS lookup, they just uh, search the uh, DNS server. So my domain in so basically you get the four record for just I have two IPv6 addresses and the two IPv4 addresses. Um, so then what the, those IP addresses for you can through the who is IP lookup tool to find out uh, those IPs are belong to the cloud flare network. Um, Even through PIN, you will get a similar result. All IP addresses you can find out from this website is a Cloudflare network IP, which is useless. Um, but if you're using uh, this census, this website, you can see there's a bunch of uh, IP addresses here. So you can really dig into what kind of system and what kind of service being open? You can see there's a port 22 open, so basically you can ping this IP. 
get reply. You can see if you can with our name. Yes, it does because of the name. It's uh, PC dot Google user content dot com uh, to Google IP. So most likely it's hosting the GCP website, GCP Google Cloud platform, and also we can try to tell that to it to get more information. Since the port twenty two is open. And yes, we did get like a Ubuntu SSH version. From there, you can try to find out some vulnerability related to the system, related to this software, and then uh, exploit it. There's a more other public IP here. Um, you can give it a try. Mm. If this website doesn't give you more, much information, then you can try second one, which is uh, shorten.io. Shorten is a search engine for Internet of Things. They are just um, uh, searching the Internet connected devices to gather, to gathering, to gather the those information about all those devices. Um, for example, they are indexing those. Um, Banners they found from those devices. Uh, these banners can be very informationable about the server software, uh, what options the service support, and which you can use it to find out the more vulnerability relating to those services. Um, on the short and home page. You can see a small search bar at the top left corner. Um, same thing, just put your domain in and then you will find three records. The first record, we found a new IP which is different from here we found. So we're gonna give it a try to see We can get some information from there. No. Probably this is a previous IP used by www.51sec.org. Now it's not valid anymore, I guess. The second IP short and found, which is uh, same as we found before. S through census website, short and has less records, so obviously they only have found three. Um, census probably found more than ten. Um, but it's still it's a good website, good record to map to try and to see which one is more accurate. They may have lot of repetitive data, but um, you may find some interesting thing behind it. The third website I'm introducing here is zhongai.org website. This is a Chinese website developed by Chinese. main page you will see the search bar I'll flip the domain name and press search and you will get all kinds of uh, related information similar you found from short end or from census um, but the they, they even give you um, the records by year by countries by search type by product, by service, by devices, by port. Um, Zhong I is a cyberspace search engine recording the information of devices, websites, service, and the component, etc. It is using two powerful detection engines, XMAP and WMAP. 
premier device and website in the cyberspace. It can be used to identify all service and components through 24 by 7 continuous detection. Um, it is very helpful and very easy to use for security researchers to understand the component coverage and the damage scope of our vulnerabilities. If you, for the records, you want to get the more details, you have to log in, become a member to log in to get the more details. But from this page, from the general search page, you already have, I think more for most people, you've got enough information already. You already can find out the IP. You already can find out um, the HTTP header. Um, interesting thing is we didn't find the SSH port on this website, which is um, we found it from Shodan and uh, Consensus. So all those three websites, they have their If you want to find out more, there's another Cloudflare tool dedicated to search for a Cloudflare database uh, IP, ID IP. So it's developed by M0RTERN. It's hosted on uh, GitHub. Um, it it need a little bit more skills on uh, Linux to install these tools, and they also need a server, Linux server. Um, uh, I won't be able to cover this uh, in this video, uh, but you should be able to search it on YouTube. I do see someone already presented that. A video to show you how to install or how to use it to dig into the real IP address behind the cloud there. That's it. That's thanks all for watching this video. Hope you like it and give me a thumb up.